It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Tennessee Titans. Coming up next. Tennessee Titans. And a welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gaunton, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from Nashville. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's going to be out of bounds. Here's the run back. We'll leave him shy of the 20-yard line. Here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team. Tenth overall in the NFL, Ryan Tannehill. There were a few eyebrows raised when Tennessee took Malik Willis in the third round this year, but rest assured, Ryan Tannehill is still the man in Tennessee after leading the Titans to the top seed in the AFC last season. His 12 wins were the most he's posted in nine seasons as an NFL starter. And he's only the third quarterback to lead the Titans to three playoff appearances in the NFL, joining Steve McNair and Warren Moon. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Henry again on second down. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, this shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea. Slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll run it again with Henry. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Tannehill going to turn and get this to Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. From the 44, Tannehill. That's caught. Nick Westbrook Akine with it. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 44-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. So after several rushes to start the game, Charles, they go to the air there and get a nice completion. Nice mix-up on the play call and right establish the running game, make the defense think you're going to do it again, and then hit them over the top. Now you've got them betwixt and between. They don't know which way you're going to come at them. They'll fake it. Now Tannehill. That's complete to Traylon Burks. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards on the play. Oh, how about the first night of the draft in 2022, round one? The Tennessee Titans stunned all of us. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. 
We're scoreless after one. Ready for the second quarter from Tennessee, and it's the homestanding Titans in possession. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Inside handoff, Henry. Give him three yards on the run. Now they'll need to drop something good here on third and 13. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Bullock's kick is good. And the Titans hit the scoreboard first. It's three to nothing. It's a pretty good opening drive. That'll make the home fans somewhat happy. They wanted six, but they got three in the early lead. And they should be happy. The guys look good getting down the field. That's got to give them a little bit of hope. The good things are in store here today. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. Here come the Ravens, and that means here comes Lamar Jackson, league's MVP and an all-pro in 2019. And the first possession is until the second quarter, but what's nice about it, it's only down three. So what you sell your team on is, look, one possession, one drive, we put it in the end zone. We're in the lead in this game. Let's go, guys. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The drive will start with an option going left. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And that might be Titan football. It is. So that play, I mean, it was pretty well blown up from the start, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, when you're running the option like that as a quarterback, you have so many different keys and reads to make that sometimes as you're making them, you're not protecting the ball the way you should, and it gets popped free. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. Yeah, they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They set up the screen for Henry. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down. Tannehill. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. You can't be precise with your throws, especially in this situation. You're inside the 10-yard line going into the end zone. But sometimes the emotion, the excitement, sometimes the decisions just aren't made very well because of that. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again. And it's a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans are able to strike for six. This is similar to baseball where you want the leadoff hitter and you don't expect him to come around and score. Almost impossible. Anytime a defense has to defend a short field, you usually end up seeing the result we saw, giving up points. On for the point after is Randy Bullock. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. Drive that time of six plays. And it was finished off on the touchdown reception by Derrick Henry. Now Bullock 
Tank will send this one away after the touchdown. No run back here for Duvernay. Touchback out to the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Throwing is Jackson. That's into the hands of Prochet. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Jackson on first down. That's good. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. It's picked up by the Titans. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Can we get some forensics done here? Because I need to figure out... Put on that ball? Yeah, on the ball, <laughs> on the guys carrying the ball, what's going on, back-to-back -back drives, back-to-back -back fumbles. That just doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you're coming out here to play in the NFL. I don't think the coaching staff thinks it makes a whole lot of sense either. No, maybe there'll be changes, but if nothing else, there will be a few stern talking tos, that's for sure. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it's Tannehill. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And caught by Henry. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans in a first down. But things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick it down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. On first down, it's Tannehill. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Throwing again is Tannehill. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. down throw incomplete as well fine work by the baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down they certainly had good starting field position on that drive but couldn't do anything with it after three plays have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position when that drive started they had six points that they were thinking about bullock's kick is good and that will extend their lead even further so they're able to force the fumble, but then they really couldn't move the football, Charles, and they get three points out of it. And they made sure they got something out of that takeaway, didn't they? Because even if they couldn't put it in the end zone, they were not going to turn the ball back to them without putting something on the scoreboard. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report.
Final adjustments being made in both locker rooms. We're just about ready for the second half and for the call. Let's get you back up to Nashville, Music City, and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jackson sliding out of the pocket. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. And he will have a Ravens first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. That is definitely what we call our defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson. When you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Jackson. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And that's good for a pickup of ten yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third and in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And they are going to bring this one back. A double return touchdown for the Titans. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. That's what they've done all game long. Try and run it in with Henry. And he will dive into the end zone. And a two-point conversion is successful. And boy, things switched on a dime here. The fumble recovery for the touchdown and also a two-point try on top successful. That feels like a momentum call. Pick it up on a fumble return, take it the other way for a touchdown. That's demoralizing for a team to have it happen against them. So the offense just says, you know something? Let's add to it. Pile on top, go for two now while their heads are down. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. But it's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. A turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well, and that's really unfortunately for them helped to put this game out of reach and you know they won't want to admit it to themselves but we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now so their bottom line is how do they play a clean game the rest of this one right take care of the football no more turnovers and see how that works and he is going to lose yardage here credit the tackle for loss to harold landry That's going to do it. 
Clock hits zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Behind the chain, second and 13. To throw is Jackson. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And they are going to bring this one back. A fumble return touchdown for the Titans. So that is now two fumble return touchdowns. You're talking about something that's going to drive a head coach crazy. Without a doubt. But for the defensive guys, once you do it once, you create a frenzy. Everybody wants to get involved, and they got it done a second time. to add the extra point. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, We've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests. But in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Looking to throw again on second down. Jackson. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up a third down. Now Jackson. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. To throw again is Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. Options galore here, second and a few inches. From the gun, Jackson. He'll find Bateman once more. And, and he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at the yard. Yet again, targeting and fighting Mark Andrews. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. It's picked up by the Titans. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But partner, I think it's safe to say they can mark this down as extremely frustrating. Here we are in the fourth quarter, and that last play, that turnover, they get epitomizes what happened to them all day on offense. So symbolic, and that's why they're still being shut out. now Tannehill and he'll take a shot here for Hooper downfield and it's a leaping effort but it's knocked away and incomplete after the incompletion here's second and ten from the 20 here's Tannehill he's gonna go up top again and that's gonna be incomplete good effort there trying to take a shot but it's third down 
So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Losing nine yards there. And it also brings up Ford. Here's Brett Kern now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Ravens, they'll take over. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. At this point, partner, things looking pretty bleak. They still haven't scored here in the fourth quarter, facing the big deficit. I just what silver linings, what can they look to do here offensively? You know, it's funny, I talked about it. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. The fumble on first down now, here's second down. Jackson from the shotgun, escaping the pressure right. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. Now it's Jackson. Pass. And he lost the football. It's picked up by the Titans. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here. And now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. Tannehill going to throw it. Airing it out deep for Woods. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Back to throw, Tannehill being chased out left. Now he'll turn and throw deep back to the other side of the field. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag is down. This could possibly be a push-off. And they will elect to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one, hence the decline. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. But they absolutely pitched a shutout, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way, but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What do they call that, a total team effort? I think when it's time to hand out game balls, guys from both sides will end up getting one.